So let your food be your medicine and your medicine your food. Here are two superfoods that you can use as medicine that are available right at your local market. True. Take a look at this. It's a nutritious, well-balanced diet. Foods not only give us energy, but can also help with some medical conditions. Those special types are commonly called superfoods. The term has become popular in the language of food and health and pretty much speaks to ultra healthy foods that support a rich diet. In our quest to explore the Jamaican foods market, we've identified two superfoods that are readily accessible, inexpensive and have exceptional health benefits. The sweet potato and the tomato have long been outstanding sources of nutrients but are sometimes overlooked as remedies. Well, just in case you forgot, these market medicines are available in abundance right in the heart of Kingston's Commerce Center, Coronation Market. Nutritionist Dr. Joy Callender tells us why these foods are important and how supporting the local market can be of great value. There are some foods that have very high nutrients or a specific nutrient for its portion size or its calorie count. And both the tomato and the sweet potato are two of those foods. Some of the patients that I see are patients undergoing radiation treatment. And I try to guide them in terms of foods which are particularly nutritious. It's actually a, a tuber, underground tuber, but as far as meal planning goes, it's regarded as being a staple. And that simply means it's one of the foods which people in the Caribbean use very often and the, it provides a lot of energy. This is a two ounce portion of sweet potato. It's a food model obviously, but it's meant to show that. And that provides anywhere from 80 to 100 calories. And when I say per serving, it means that if you eat that amount, that's what you get from it. Two ounces provides between 80 and 100 calories. The easiest method of, of preparation is boiling and baking. I would think, I mean, people do things like candied sweet potatoes and they add all kinds of things to it. But the simplest, lowest calorie way of preparing it would be to either bake it in your oven or to boil it. And it's always better if you do it in the skin. You can then peel it if you want to when you're ready to eat it. And there are different varieties of sweet potatoes, different colors. The ones highest in the beta carotene has that orange color. The tomato, on the other hand, is actually a fruit if we look at it from a botanical perspective. But from a nutrition perspective, it's regarded as being a vegetable. The tomato provides us with, as I said, vitamins and minerals. And one of the major important nutrients that we get from the tomato is something, an antioxidant that we call lycopene. And lycopene has been linked or associated to specific health benefits, including um, heart disease and cancer. Raw tomatoes are thought to be particularly useful as it relates to your cardiovascular health or it's good for your heart. Cooked tomatoes, that's where we get at the concentrated lycopene and that's the link to cancer and in particular prostate cancer. The studies are ongoing but we have significant data to suggest that it is in fact one of the very useful foods. When we go shopping, we want to get fresh tomatoes, always, especially when it comes to, to vegetables, we want it fresh. Some of the ways that we can include tomatoes in our regular diet, a salad. In fact, we talk about salad tomatoes as Jamaicans because you can cut up tomato and eat it and that is the vegetable. However, when I use the word salad, I'm talking about a raw um, combination of vegetables. So. The most common thing for Jamaica is lettuce, cucumber, tomato. <laughs> and we can make it more interesting by adding other things. But those are some of the basic ones. And a tossed salad would be the usual shredded cabbage and carrot, and you can add tomatoes to that. And when we do things like gravies, you pour off any excess oil when you've cooked, 
and you add your, your water and one of the main things you add is tomatoes, your scallion, your thyme and so on um, to make a, a really good gravy and, and Jamaicans very often like they're, we're gravy people <laughs> so that's one of the things that we can when you do things like tomato juice and tomato soup and so on, then that's an easier way to get the nutrients without consuming huge portions of the particular food. So you can experiment, you can go to the cookbooks, you can use the internet to come up with various recipes, but you always want to find new and interesting ways of providing our local, low-cost foods, which are so high in nutrients. And the, the, the tomato and the sweet potato are prime examples of that.